was fast. I just see some creepy stuff. Oh yeah, this freaked me out when I was a kid. I mean, it starts out too simple, like, you know, history and all that stuff, blah blah blah. Pagan rituals, whatever that might that's supposed to be. I'm just gonna let the atmosphere of these speak for themselves, I'm sorry. And then this guy pops up. And then, yeah. Goes all Silent Hill. This is the Enterprise stage, or the Hell stage, <laughs> one of the two. Most because when I was a kid, I thought his head looked like the Star Trek Enterprise from Star Trek. <laughs> oh, he's maxed out. Okay, he's going into Dragoon right away. And um, but he also kind of looks like Kabuto, like the Pokemon Kabuto, Kabutops. One of those two. I know they're both the same Pokemon, but um, I'm gonna put Rose Storm on, I think, just to be safe. But I went in the first time I ever played this boss, so I thought it looked like the Enterprise, so he's been the Enterprise stage ever since. Rose Storm. I'm not sure when my magic audio fixed. But it's no longer static. And that makes me very pleased. Alright. Maru, sweetheart. Um, yeah, let's go for healing rain just because you and Oliver are less than half. And I mean, it's, it's the final boss fight. We might as well use it. All right, Dart, let's do this. I might find it weird that he's only a yellow in this stage, and honestly, I did kind of too. Cause he, we got it. We got him too yellow in the second stage. You think that for the whole third stage or fourth stage? Sorry, he'd be red. No such luck. But that's okay. It won't take him long to get there. I'm actually amazed by how fast that third stage went, though. That was only like three, four turns. It's real fast. This is an interesting attack for this boss to have. I kind of like the attack the Archangel used on Maru. Fun, the, funny that it happens to be, you know, targeting Maru. <laughs> but. Alright. Um, well, he might still be in Dragon when that happens. So there's something else that happens in this fight that I want to save his, part of his magic for. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to give him magic to do it. Okay, I'll have to give him a Sun Rhapsody. That's cool. Uh, sweetheart. Um, no, let's max you out and then I'll get Dart to do it on next turn because he's still working on level 2. There we go. Alright. Sunrise City on Daryl Albert. Alright. Yeah, boys! How we do? This one's got some interesting attacks. Like this final stage has probably the most attacks out of all the four stages, and has some of the most interesting. It's got a lot of different elemental attacks. Like this, of course, is a wind attack, right? 
comic book here, he'd get fucked. And the one before that, I don't even know what that was supposed to be, it was a neutral or a light attack, because he didn't do any damage to Albert. And he's got a couple of interesting ones, too. Um, to heal you, if I should just go into Dragoon. Because no one else really needs healing, so it'll be a waste of your magic. I'll just put you in a Dragoon, and I can always get Dart to heal you. I ain't too worried about it. There's only one reason we're going to have a death in this battle, and trust me, we're not going to be able to avoid having a death in this battle. That is a single attack. Okay, let's do it. I know we did it. See, he's red already. Then again, he's supposed to be red in this fight. He only spends a couple turns in the yellow from the fourth, from from the third stage, and then fourth stage. I know where to show this magic, but honestly, why not use it again? It's a good magic. It's a really good magic. to mention, the Dragon Buster, you know how in the last video I said it can only be used on Rose? It's not really weird. Am I the only one who finds that weird? Why give an item such as that as the very final part of the game and not give it to Dart? Right? Or make it accessible to other party members? Like, why only Rose? That's what I want to know. But, I don't know. Probably because Rose is the only survivor, well, next to Zeke from the Dragon Campaign and the whole thing with Melbu Frama and all that fun stuff and, you know. I don't know. Yeah, boys! Finally getting to the serious attacks from the final stage of the fight. Finally getting my shit together. But that's cool. All right. He looks like a mushroom. Is that just me? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use real storm again, but you know what? Fuck it. Oh, close, but no cigar. I hope my dragon rotation makes sense to you. Like, it's not necessarily in a particular order, although I usually start with dart, so I can, you know, use the dragon ball, whatever. But, um, it's just, well, one into dragon, and then wait a few turns for the next one, and then just constantly rotate them to whoever gets their max, max levels. So they're not all in dragon at the same time, there's always someone on the ground. There's always someone who can go into Dragon at any given time, which is what I like to do. And I think it works. Alright, Dart. You've been my utility man for the past few turns. That's always cool. I always thought that was cool. How we did the magic like that. <laughs> it's a light attack. It's not gonna. Well, it, it will do some pretty good damage, actually. Now that you mention it. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, Albert. That was painful. I can always have her do Rainbow Breath on the, her final turn if I have to. I'm not too concerned. I also have healing breezes still, so. Now this is a pretty interesting attack. It kind of reminds me of Rose's magic death dimension, except actually useful. That magic is so pointless. I don't remember if I showed it or not, but it only works on minor enemies. Like, uses on bosses, it does nothing. It's ex it's an execution, right? But it doesn't work on major enemies, so you can only use it on minor enemies. And why the hell would you use dragon magic in a minor fight? Like, what kind of messed up crap is that? Oh, damn. Missed the wrong one that time. Alright, Dart. Oh, pff, you scrub. Oh, 
<gasps> That's what it reminds me of, the Chozo! That's what that reminds me of. Okay, when he did his magic here and all the rooms on the outside, then the picture in the middle, I was thought, man, that really looks like something I've seen recently. At first I was thinking Alien, like Xenomorph Alien. But I was thinking, no, that kind of looks like Chozo from Metroid. Like Metroid 1, Metroid, Super Metroid. Those games, I haven't, I haven't seen Super Me Metroid Advanced or whatever it is. For the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance, whatever the fuck it's for. I have no idea. And again, I've never actually played Metroid. I've just watched those plays of it. But it looks like a Chozo. That's what that reminds me of. Just the, the, the shit on it. So I think they're called Chozos. For the guys who, who um, hold the upgrades for you. I think they're called Chozos. Oh yeah, it's the Chozo Ruins, the Metroid Prime, that makes sense, yeah. Chozos are weird. I love Metroid Prime and talk about they're good, and Samus is the chosen one, or whatnot. And then in Super Metroid, some of them attack you, and it's not very nice of them. Asshole. That wasn't very nice. That's just basic attack, by the way. Alright, Dart. Let's do this. Let's get his little lackeys out here. It's just like the last stage, he does summon some little monster enemies with really unimaginative names, I gotta admit. I gotta say. But, um. I can't remember what this does. Oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Well, I should be okay. Oh, that's frustrating though, holy crap. I kinda like how he comes right out of the beast there. In his larva looking form. It's like a centaur, but like a bug. <laughs> Looks like she grow wings and be a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> that would probably suck. Come on, guys, no infighting. A little dark so when he keeps trying to run. Oh, Marie's, Marie's dead. If he attacks Marie, she's dead. This isn't what I meant when I said there was definitely going to be a death in this fight. Because there is an unavoidable death in this fight. But. Oh, it's dark, never mind. Praise the Lord! <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Healing first, mind purifiers later. <laughs> okay. Attack. There we go. And Sir Dart. You meanie, meanie! It's not nice to hit girls. Not nice to hit anyone for that matter. But you know, fair enough, she did hit him first. Dart, you're still confused? Now, this is pretty much just a recolor or a reuse of um, Linus' magic from that fight. But that's okay. I thought it was Linus who used this magic. It might have been. Oh, no, it's just the structure I'm thinking of. Sorry. Never mind. Alright, Albert, you're my healing man again. I need a dart, another level so we can get to Dragoon. Jeez, we're up to 40 minutes! We're up to 40 minutes already, holy crap. Well, that's not surprising, fair enough. I was hoping this would be done in half an hour, I put it on the one video, but I'm gonna have to split it. That's okay though. Now 
no, 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 no. That's not fair. Come on. That's the cheapest status ailment in the game. In any game. That's bloody ridiculous. At least he guarded and ran instead of killing each other. He's doing it again. What the frick, man? What the crap? This is the most. Oh, <laughs> he was immune because he already had it. Oh, because he guarded. That's why he was immune. Oh my lord. At least she was guarded too. You got a third time? I need to get someone into a game. Holy crap. Dude. Just stop. I have nothing to say. I'm sp absolutely speechless. He's just up four times in a row. He's if he's it again, I would have just raged. Holy crap. This guy is a jerk. Thank you. Okay. Um. She, she, she doesn't have any magic. You know what? Just in case, she's going into Dragoon, and then the next person up. Except, unless it's dark, then he's going into Dragoon as well. Next person up will give her more MP. But just in case he does that again, I can't have everyone confuse this whole battle. Come on, snap out of it, guys. That's it? Oh, that's it! Well, those are parts of that battle we missed, actually. Okay, he was too busy confusing us to do it. Okay, basically, once you get him down to enough, he will summon two monsters, and they're literally just called monsters. And, um, they'll attack you and blah blah blah. And if you kill them, they will one-hit one of your party members. But, if you don't kill them, they will impersonate one of your party members, and they will suck them out of the fight and take their place in the fight. And you can attack and use a special move with them, but still, they're removing one of your party members. And it's... It, you can't have that happen. That's just way too much to risk. Only, like, taking out just one is okay. So you only have one of them impersonating one of your party members, but both, but both of them just can't. Like, you have to uh, at least kill one. I was hoping I could show that, actually, but he didn't summon them. That's the battle. You do forget it, you just leave your girl laying there, man. Way to go, Dart. Waiting for this moment. I kept you waiting so long. I'm sorry. Could you?
come with me? Yes! I will never leave you again. That's a game. It's gonna go through clips here and show you where everyone ends up. As you can see, Congles with Hashel and Rouge. 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 Sorry, Rouge. That's the place. This is funny. <laughs> and that's the game, guys. Sorry, you can hear the voice acting very well. I mean, that's got nothing to do with my audio settings. That's just all the game. And sorry about that and much it's not that good anyway and I just this is such a great game and the wrap-up is great and the story is just comes together so well and this is by far been my favorite game to do for you guys I mean granted I haven't been playing that long and I don't have that many games on my channel but just being able to play this game again and play it for you guys has been amazing because the um, I did play this once through on my own Without, without attending to Let's Play before I decided to. And that was the first time I played it in like eight years. And. And I just remembered how much I love this game. And how much it means to me. And 
how many memories it has for me. And now that I'm old enough to understand a lot of the story more, it makes it so much more enjoyable for me. Oh yeah, there's Merrick, the guy doing all the gardening and stuff, meeting Princess uh, Lisa. I was going to Princess Emily, like that's the other one. Speaking of Princess Emily, though, we'll see about that in a minute. Oh, that's the Captain Puler. <laughs> yeah, Captain Puler. This is one of my favorites, though. It's Bruce. Got the winglies to his fan as Grara. I pronounce his name as a minute toast there. He's got Gurara out of the forest and is showing him the world around him. Here we are, Princess Emily. She's marrying Albert. Or has married Albert, I guess. Okay, if it sounds like I'm about to cry, it's because I am. Because, <laughs> um,. This game means a lot to me. This game is a game I was introduced to by my family. I always played with my family. That family I haven't seen in a lot of years. And it's just, this is a game from my childhood, and I love it, and it means so much to me. I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a drink? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Levitz's home, though. He's paying his respects to Levitz there. That was back in Celeste, helping them rebuild it. I just love this game so much. That bird is in every shot. What the frick? <laughs> then the credits roll. Jeez, this recording's been 50 minutes long. It's almost an hour. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, this game. I mean, there are a few hard spots. Here and there for this recording or for this project, and one of them being that huge hiatus I took, which I never wanted to, and I never intended to. And and John, if you're watching, you really helped me get back into this because if you had not asked me about my let's play is and started discussing those with me, I it's a good chance I never would have gotten back into this. So thank you, John, for helping me out with that. Even if you don't know it. Oh, well, you don't know. And just this game is incredible. Like, the writing in this game. Like, at first, the beginning of the game is just Sirdian War and trying to find Shanna, and then the dragoons become a part of it. And then the dragoons start to slowly show up here and here and there and here and there, and they start to, start to realize that the conflict of the world is so much bigger than Shanna's disappearance. And then we go into fighting to figure out Lloyd's true intentions. And we go and we fight the Divine Dragon in the third disc. And we figure out that the world is falling apart. The world is on the verge of destruction. And then we learn that Shanna's disappearance, while minuscule at first, becomes the problem. Becomes the truest problem. The truest issue. And like the stuff with Hashel and how... He starts grandfather. I mean, like that's incredible. I, I never, I never understood that when I was a kid. I didn't understand that until the last time I played it. This music called, oh, by the way, is also the the music in the opening. Fun facts. And just the stuff with Rose and how she connects with Zeke and how she has this attachment to Dart because she can't, she because she doesn't know he's Zeke's son, but she sees Zeke in him and she sees her love for Zeke in him, and that's why she stays with him. Right. And the true regret she has for all those years murdering innocent, th thousands of innocent people as the Black Monster. 
and it shows in her character, it really does, every time they talk about the Black Master, before they figure out that it's her. And just, and how Melbu Frama comes back into it, like, when I first played this game, that totally threw me for a loop. He was the wingly dictator of the Dragon Campaign, and then, and then he took, and then the man who killed him, Zeke, fell. He transferred his soul into Zeke. To, to enact to very patiently enact his revenge 11,000 years later. I just honestly, whoever wrote this game, of course, it's being shown. Uh, well, well, sorry, I whacked the mic. It's not movie directors, but whoever wrote this game, honestly, you, good sir, are amazing. Or good, good ma'am, whoever you, whatever you have to be. And the visuals of this game are incredible, and the, and the design and everything. I know it has its flaws, and it does have a lot of flaws, let's, let's be honest here, it has a lot of flaws. But I love this game, and I was, I'm very impressed by it, even now with an adult. And it deserves a lot more credit than it has. That's pretty much all I got to say, really. Um, there will be another video coming out. I will be doing the Magician Faust fight without the use of the Phantom Helm. Throw it out the Phantom Helm, the Legend Cask, or the Phantom Helm, for that matter, will be using that either. But the Legend Cask, uh, showing you, I do believe it can be done. I haven't managed to succeed yet, but I've come very close. So, I do believe it can be done, and I'm going to prove it to you. And if I can't actually do it in that video, well, then at least we have a video of me trying, and that's something too, right? It's going to be a bonus video coming up. I have a strategy. It's called Thoughts. Oh, you missed that price now. Okay, anyway, I've been letting the credits roll for all my other ones play, so I'm gonna do the same for this one. Whoever, I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, just because I don't have much more to say, and these are just credits, so. I'm gonna let them run for you. So, it's from that name of Superhero. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next Let's Play with Spire of the Dragon. Have a good one. I forgot about this scene. And they really did make closure to everyone. And Zeke and Rose. No wonder that bird was in every shot. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>